G'day folks, look with four-wheel driving becoming more and more popular all around Australia. I'm stoked to say that I've teamed up with Australian four-wheel drive and adventure shows as well as Western four-wheel driver to bring you some tips and techniques to make the most out of your four-wheel drive and to get out and enjoy the Australian countryside. So, let's get stuck into it. four-wheel drive is to chuck the kids in the back, chuck your dog in the back and head down to the beach. Think about it, a summer's day on the beach with your four it really doesn't get much better than that. But there are a few tips and techniques that will help you out along the way to make sure that if you do get bogged, you know how to get out or so that you can make fun of your mate who's digging himself out while you're having a good time. Alrighty then, now We've just arrived down on the beach. There's a couple of things I really suggest you do before you just charge down onto the sand. First and foremost, check that you've got a beach. It can get washed away due to big tides and big seas. As you can see, we've got a definite track heading north up the beach here that we can get onto. The second thing you want to really check before you get down here is what is that tide doing? Is the tide going out or is the tide coming in? It makes a big difference because if you get stuck on the beach with the tide coming in, it's a lot different to getting stuck on the beach with the tide going out. Now we know that tide is going out. We know we've got a track. We also know that we've got four-wheel drives, so we're heading in that direction. Okay, now folks, before you even get down to the beach, great idea to let your tyre pressures down. You've all heard about that. What do you go down to? Well, look, it's very specific on the tyres, the amount of weight you're carrying, the conditions of the beach. My rule of thumb, before I even see the beach, is to drop my tyres down to 18 psi. Now, I might need to go a lot lower than that, or it might not be that I need to even go that far down, but it's best to not get into trouble before you get into trouble. So I'm going to get down to 18 psi now, then check out the beach and we'll see how we go. Oh, bugger. Mate! The older you get, the more embarrassing it becomes. <laughs> hey? You've gone down, what are you going to do here, mate? Well, I'm not usually one for going down. I think I'll get the shovel out first okay. and uh, yep. have a go at it. Absolutely. <laughs> Folks, the reality is drive on the beach long enough and you are, at some point, going to get bogged. It's the nature of the beast. First things first, grab the shovel and do a bit of hard work. Clear that sand out of the way and dig down till you can see the entirety of the tyre. And then, folks, let a bit more air out. What are you down to, Nick? Oh, about 80, but I've got to go a lot lower. Nick could almost halve that and still have room to move. So let's try that first and see how we go. Of course, folks, four-wheel drives have got four tyres. There's no point in clearing out just one. Make sure all four tyres are clearly dug out of the sand. All right, so as you can see, Nick's just behind me now, letting out a bit more air from the tyres. And the difference that makes can be absolutely crucial to getting off a beach easily or struggling your way off. Nick's at 18 psi right now. I reckon he'll drop it down to under 10. And you watch the difference it makes. Right, well mate, you've got max tracks, I notice, up there. Yep. We've got traction aids. It'd be silly not to use them. Well, we're on, still sitting on the diffs. Yeah. So yep. we've cleared in front of the tyres. Yep. We've let the pressures down to about 12 on the back, around about 10 on the front. Yep. So let's get the max tracks out and uh, see what happens. Done. OK, good things, these max tracks. You can use the bottom side as a pretty effective shovel. If you happen to have turned up without one, flip them over jam them in and remember where they are so you don't lose them. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, once you pop up I think you'll be okay. Let's give it a shot. Shall I get out of here? Well, that was absolutely textbook. Let's go through that. First and foremost, grab the shovel, clear the sand out, do a bit of digging, a bit of hard yakka. Secondary, let some more air out of your tyres. Thirdly, make sure if you've got them, you use them. I'm talking about traction aids. And then, once Nick was out onto that soft stuff, he didn't put the boot down. He just let the car idle its way back up off the beach so he didn't spin the wheels and go back down. Now I've just got to turn around. Beach driving. Yeah, yeah. 
some of the most fun you can do, I reckon. Oh yeah, that was a bit tight. But, it is, uh, a little soft down there. You never know what you're going to find. This is a problem on the beach, and I reckon you've got to be prepared for all scenarios, mate. So, you've done a lot of four-wheel driving in your time. If you were to head down the beach tomorrow on your own, minimum first, you'd take with you. First thing, good shovel. 100%, mate. Yep, long handle's good. Yep, especially if you've got arms like mine, they don't reach yes. very far. <laughs> Second thing? Second thing, pressure gauge. 100%, because yep. tyre pressures are everything, mate. Absolutely. Absolutely everything. As you saw, you know, we were down there at uh, 18 PSI, Yep. straight down. Take about another 10 PSI, 6 yep. PSI out, and you walk out. Drove straight out. Yep. What else would you take, mate? What's a luxury item to have down there? Aren't they? They're good. These bad boys, if you are going to do any beach driving solo, I cannot recommend a set of Max Tracks more highly. They will get you out of more trouble than you really should get yourself into. Yeah, and you can use them as a spade if you don't have one of those. Exactly. Also, yeah, well, there's all sorts of uses for these bad boys. And then if you've got a mate with you, if you're lucky enough to have mates, Snatch strap. Carry a snatch strap, shackles, but make sure, please make sure, folks, that you've got rated recovery points on the front and rear of your vehicle. Those little things that your vehicle comes with, they're just to tie your four-wheel drive to the ship so that if they hit seas, it doesn't go overboard. That's it. They will not work for you to snatch off, so make sure you've got rated yeah. recovery points. And then, mate, when you get back up here and you can hear the pub calling, yep. what do you need to do? Pump your tyres up. Absolutely. You yeah. Need. yeah, we've got some limestone on the way back and... Uh, I wouldn't want to be going over that limestone at the pressures we've got at the moment. So, um, you know, you can't do without one of these. Absolutely, mate. Look, I think follow those basic techniques. And I think beach driving or sand driving is some of the most fun you can have in a four-wheel drive. Absolutely. What do you say we get out of here? I think that's a good idea. Let's do it.